Lewis Berger, as a designer of record, was retained by the Massachusetts Bay Transportation Authority to design the replacement of Shoreline Bridge located at the MBTA Reedville Station in Boston, Massachusetts. Phase one will begin with construction of the drilled shaft foundations for the new two-track cantilever structure that will support the OCS for track one. Then Amtrak will transfer the OCS that is currently attached to the shoreline bridge and connect it to the new two-track cantilever system. Phase two begins with Amtrak relocating the high voltage return cable and the ground wire that's currently in the footprint of the east abutment. Next, on the west abutment, the signal power and communication system will be relocated that is currently in that footprint. To start phase three on the east abutment, soldier piles will be installed as a temporary support of excavation to allow for construction of the foundation. On the west abutment, a temporary vertical protection shield will be installed to protect the construction crew and permit uninterrupted work while constructing the west abutment. Similarly, on the east abutment, a temporary vertical protection shield will also be installed. On the west abutment, the drilled shaft foundations will be installed and concurrently the bridge girders will be delivered to the project site and placed in the staging area behind the west abutment. The contractor will then reassemble the bridge superstructure that was previously fabricated and assembled in the shop. Similarly, on the east abutment, there will be construction and installation of the drilled shaft foundation. Next, the west abutment work will include the formwork, reinforcement, and concrete placement of the foundation cap, abutment wall, abutment cap, and curtain walls. The same construction will then occur on the east abutment. Phase 4 will begin with the assembly of heavy lift cranes for the bridge demolition and the new bridge installation. Over a three-day weekend, the shoreline bridge will then be closed to traffic for the Fairmont Franklin Line and the CSX freight trains. During Amtrak's non-revenue hours on Saturday morning, Amtrak will de-energize the OCS on the Northeast Corridor at that bridge for the four-hour window. The existing bridge superstructure will then be removed. Amtrak will re-energize the OCS on the Northeast Corridor before the first morning trains. On the following Sunday early morning, Amtrak will again de-energize the OCS on the Northeast Corridor and take it out of service during Amtrak's non-revenue hours. This will allow for the installation of the proposed bridge superstructure. Amtrak will then connect the grounding cables for the new bridge and re-energize the OCS, and that will allow for the first Amtrak morning train to run on the Northeast Corridor. Then from Sunday morning to Tuesday morning, the remaining bridge and rail components will be installed, including precast back wall and approach slabs, the railroad ballasts, wooden ties, and track. And lastly, the Fairmount Franklin line will be put back into service by 4 a.m. on Tuesday morning.